Hi everyone, my name is Siu Chen. Uh, I'm a currently a PhD candidate in urban analytics lab. Today, I will give you a brief introduction on this package called Walk City, which developed by our previous postdoc researcher, Kony uh, Enko. It's, it's a package that can help you to generate certain uh, areas Walsall City models. So before I start, I will try to give you a brief introduction on how this uh, package works. So basically, uh, this method is how you to generate the Wassel for different layers of the urban environment and then integrate them into a Wassel model. So we obtained four different layers information from different data sources like OSM or Google Earth Engine. So the first one would be uh, canopy high and then building high land cover and also the terrain level. So based on this uh, four different layers information from from the water and it will help you to generate the level like uh, the height of the tree the height of the buildings and generate different patterns of the land covers and also the terrain so after integrating them it will generate the water city model for you then uh, using this model we can firstly you uh we have showcased some of the case study on how can we generate like solar radiation, screen view index or sky view index simulating based on the model. And then we can also export to different kinds of uh, file like 3D file like OBJ. So in this package, it also provides some methods to visualize this kind of simulated results on the building surfaces and also on different ground level area. And you can easily help you to uh, generate, uh, simulate certain kinds of uh, information based on the model itself. So if you are interested in it, you can check the further details. The GitHub repo also provides some detailed information on like where this data are, we are uh, obtained from and including the building footprint, land cover, canopy height and DEM. And the detailed source of the data, so you can check the list here. Or you can also check the resolutions on different kinds of uh, data source, and you can select certain kinds of data source for your studies area. So to showcase this as uh, examples, uh, Kuniko already provided a very comprehensive uh, Google Colab uh, notebook. You can easily open it from here. You can see there's a tutorial preview, and you can open it by clicking the Google Colab button. And then we will get into the uh, Google Colab information. And then we can start to run different chunks of code. Start from the first one, installing the Watt City. Yeah, just keep the ones in the, yeah, on the left. And then you can keep the one anyway. So yeah, it might take some time. It will help you to install the environment. And if you want to save it and edit it based on your own purpose, you can also Kit here, like it says, it cannot save change because it's uh, shared it by uh, Konico, uh from his account, and then you can kill it here and save as a copy in a drive in your Google Drive, and then you can modify it. So as you can see, uh, the package is already uh, installed, and then we can go into the authenticate of the Google Earth Engine. As I mentioned, we will obtain some data from the Google Earth Engine. So this step is to use your own accounts in Google and then you generate uh, uh, tokens for, from your account. So yeah, let's run the 1.2. So yeah, it will ask you to uh, authorize some access to need by the earth engine and then you will, you can simply keep this thing based on my account and then uh, using my own gmail and then you can choose if you use it for the first time you can select here choose the project and then you keep create a new cow project based on yeah your account and then you can modify the name of it like this one need to be a unique and yeah, can, cannot be changed later, but you can simply catch the test what city in my case would be today. Okay, then we could select. So it will take some time to generate a new call project in this case, and then we could generate token. So here uh, I select my own account to uh, authenticate 
So, and then you will come to this page and you can just click select all to authorize your uh, Google account to access to different Google services and then click continue. So it will help you to generate uh, tokens based on your Google account. And then you, gen you just click the button here to copy the code. And then let's go back to the previous uh, notebook and you just by uh, simple click here and then you copy paste the tokens and you press enter and you will say successfully says as your own token so in next step let's check whether this would work uh, and see whether our account is successfully initialized so we just run the third code and you will see there's a arrow comes up so let's click the link here Okay, yeah, you will jump into another uh, another web page to Google Cloud and then we can start to uh, type in our information and to make our account eligible for non-commercial uses. So let's say get start and then select our organizations. In my case, uh, yeah, I'm a, still a student, so I just get student and yeah, and I will simply type NUS as my uh, institutions. Yeah, just say no. Yeah, scientific research. Yeah, so the survey is quite simple. Just based on your own information and you can type in like different kinds of options and yeah, finish it. So I have already filled in the information and to register for non-commercial use. We can go back to the previous chunk of the code and then let's see and try it again. Okay, yeah. yeah it, when you see there's a click here and then this chunk is passed. So yeah, let's run the chunks below and to see how can we generate the model. Yeah, in this chunk, we will it will ask you to select a target area and as a rectangle and this area would be the area you want to generate the model for. So based on your interest, you can choose one of the methods uh, to generate the process. So let's try 2.2 and this is more like yeah friendly usage. And firstly, you need to select a like, city name and let's just use New York as an example. And then yeah, after it runs and you hit the second chunk, it will jump into the area and that for you uh, based on the city name and then you can just hit this uh, rectangular here and then start to draw a box on the map so let's say i draw an area like this okay and then you will see the vertices of the drawing rectangle will be generated here so which means it's already done to help you to generate the area for your case study area and then we will go to step three and this step will help us to uh, identify like where our where are our data source are come from so in this case we select uh, building source as OpenStreetMap which means we will use the building footprint information from OpenStreetMap and also use some high data from the available buildings and then there is a compact com and then there's a complementary source and we can choose like, yeah, based on the uh, different kinds of data source which you think will be high qualities in your case. So in this case, we choose Microsoft Building Footprint. Like for those uh, buildings which don't have high data in OpenStreetMap, this kind of data source will help you to complement the data from this uh, like from the second data source. And then we choose then cover source as OpenStreetMap and then canopy heights like we use the high resolution one meter global canopy heights maps. And there's also, also uh, terrain information from the DEM source. The last step is to identify the mesh size, which is quite important. Like it will help you to set up the, like how big would your WhatsApp be. So in this case, we choose five meter by five meter by five meters. So you will like more efficient in a way, but for some study, if you, if you want it to be more precise or like more related to real world, you can set it to one meter or two meter. Depends on the previous data, right? Whether they have uh, available uh, high resolution information.
So yeah, let's choose five meters here and as a case. And then we can start to run the second at first and second chunk. Yeah, it will help you to set up the um, parameters for generating the model. And after this, we can start to run 4.1. So as I mentioned, here is the process. We obtain the data from different data source. One is the building height, another is the terrain level, and then land cover, and also canopy height. After this, as you can see, it will help us to generate like the, the information from different layers. I yeah, land covers, building height. Now is canopy height, as you can see here. And then lastly, we obtain the information from the uh, terrain. So after running the 4.1, and then we can visualize and generate our 3D models based on the data source we downloaded. As you can see, it's quite fast because we select the mesh size as 5 meter, and it will be very efficient for us in this case. And as you can see, they will generate uh, uh, models and you can play with, and you can check by, uh, whether the building height and also the information of the land cover is aligned with the real world and see whether it's uh, is in a good quality for your downstream applications. So after generating this model, this uh, collab also provides different kinds of methods to export a different file format. One is for the MVMate. So yeah, you can use it to export a model and then run the simulations in the MVMate. And another one is for yeah magical workflow, and this is another option, and also the very common uh file for three D model OBJ, and this one can be opened by the Rhino. So yeah, this can could be the options for you to explore as well. So after generating the models, we can use it for downstream applications. So there are some cases we provided in this collab. One, the first one is the solar radiations. The second one would be the view index, like different view index, like like green view index, sky view index, and it can be visualized on the ground level, and cause can also be visualized uh, on the facade level. Let's see like how different uh, level of the buildings can be accessible to greenery in this case, and it can also help you to generate and simulate the landmark visibility based on the height data. Yeah, so here's some of the examples. I won't run the simulation here, but if you are interested, you can just click uh, the ones of these yeah, different sessions. It can help you to generate different information of it. For example, this one is the solar radiation. You can look into details, like you can just run the chunk of gold. It can help you to generate the solar irradiations uh, of certain time or certain periods and you can calculate the yeah, overall solar irradiations on not only the rooftop, but also different facade level. So yeah, this is kind of the, uh, how this package can be utilized for the downstream applications. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you all for joining today's tutorial. And today is try to give you a short introduction on how can we utilize what's was cities package to generate also models of different area in the cities. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any suggestions or questions on this package, please feel free to reach out to us. And we are also looking forward to seeing like more applications can be realized on these methods. So yeah, see you guys and thanks for joining. Thank you.